Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Trindamir, the Barbarian King. Trindamir is a melee fighter who focuses on dealing huge damage with his basic attacks. This spotlight will focus on his legendary Demon Blade Trindamir skin. This skin has a different model, animations, voiceover, and particle effects compared to his default look. Trindamir's passive is Battle Fury. Trindamir's attacks, critical strikes, and killing blows build fury. As Trindamir gains fury, his critical strike chance increases. Bloodlust gives Trindamir bonus damage based on how much health he has. He gains a small amount of damage for being full, but he gains the most benefit at one health. Trindamir may activate Bloodlust to consume all of his fury, healing him based on how much fury was used. Mocking Shout reduces the attack damage of all nearby enemy champions. Enemies that had their backs turned are also slowed for a few seconds. Spinning Slash sends Trindamir to target location, damaging all enemies along his path. Every time Trindamir lands a critical strike, the cooldown on Spinning Slash decreases. Undying Rage gives Trindamir bonus fury and makes him immune to death for a few seconds, holding at one health if he were to take fatal damage. This ability can be cast while stunned, silenced, or otherwise incapacitated. As an added note, you typically want to use Bloodlust to heal yourself right as Undying Rage ends to help you survive. I play Trindamir as a jungler, which allows me to farm without interference and also enables me to gank without my opponents expecting it. Ask a teammate to pull the golems, which allows you to take the camp down without receiving too much damage. Transition to the wraiths, wolves, and then the buff golem, giving it to whichever teammate can best use it. I head over to gank bottom lane. I lead in with Mocking Shout and then Spinning Slash. We crush Blitzcrank's health and pick up the kill despite Alistair's stuns. I smack Alistair with a critical strike and walk out of turret range. Seeing him get low, I play too aggressively. I'm about one minion kill from level 6, but instead of killing one to get my ultimate, I recklessly dive Alistair and die underneath the turret as I get stunned. When your ultimate is up, you can take most fights if you play well. Fighting Vladimir in mid lane, I start aggressively. I wait for Sanguine Pool, but unfortunately he turns around right as I use Mocking Shout. Thankfully, I can still chase him, using Flash and Spinning Slash to dive him underneath his turret. The scariest part here is getting away from the turret. Right as Undying Rage is about to time out, I take a turret shot, then use Bloodlust, letting me take another attack as I walk out of range. As I get into a fight in mid, I run once Alistair uses his ultimate. I head back in once Tarek shows up, stunning Vayne. I take her down with just a few basic attacks and spinning slash. Turning to Vladimir, he's unable to sufficiently damage me as I deal tons of damage and have lifesteal. Once he falls, I can easily chase Alistair, who's already used his ultimate. Thanks to Tarek, I pick up three kills without even touching Undying Rage. I get pulled into the enemy turret by Blitzcrank. I run out and use Undying Rage right as I'm about to die. York makes a clone of me with Omen of Death while I try to focus Vladimir. I notice that my clone has taken Blitzcrank to one hit, so I get the kill. Vladimir is now unable to outdamage my lifesteal, so I take a second kill without any trouble. I take down the mid turret, but run due to the amount of escapes and stuns on the enemy team. Upon fighting Blitzcrank, I use Undying Rage at the last possible second. After I take him down, I look at the available targets. While Alistair is close by, Vayne is much more important, so I kill her with Spinning Slash and a Critical Strike. Undying Rage times out as I die, but I've been targeted by Yorick's Omen of Death, so in my short second life, I dive on a Tristana, picking up the kill before expiring. We get into a fight in the enemy jungle. Blitzcrank appears to be an easy target, so I go for him first. Unfortunately, his team shows up and he flashes out. Still healthy, I turn to Vladimir. I get him low, but his team shoves me into the wall. I turn on Undying Rage and chase him down with Spinning Slash. At this point, I should run up and around the Wolf Camp, flanking Blitzcrank, Tristana, and Vayne. Instead, I make the mistake of diving back down through Alistair, dying to Pulverize. Basically, always be aware that Trindamir can disengage and get back into the action pretty frequently. Don't lock yourself into only thinking about attacking straight forward. One advantage of Trindamir's extremely high damage output is that you can take down Baron Nasher very quickly. When attempting Baron, always note that he will physically attack the single closest target, so make sure at least one teammate is closer to Baron than you are, otherwise you'll lose half your damage output. Upon spotting Vayne, I spinning slash just to get into range for Mocking Shout. The extreme slow allows us to catch up, and she turns around knowing that her escape is impossible. We keep chasing even though Alistair lands a great pulverize. I'm able to tag Tristana with Mocking Shout and chase with spinning slash. After the kill, I spinning slash out of turret range because it's attacking me. 
I use Undying Rage at the last possible second, turning to kill Blitzcrank with the help of my team. Thankfully, I get just out of range of Alistair when he tries to jump me. I turn around to kill him with a critical strike before leaving the base. Trindamir is extremely position reliant. Diving headfirst into Vayne gets me shoved around and makes me use Undying Rage before even dealing any damage. Thankfully, I am able to use Spinning Slash and Flash to take out Tristana, but if I had taken any other angle of attack at the beginning, I'd have survived this fight. I manage to separate Vladimir from the rest of his team and dive relentlessly to pick up the kill. However, I make a huge mistake in using Undying Rage well before I'm about to die. At no point do I actually drop below one health during its duration. As a result, Blitzcrank and Tristana clean me up, even though I could have killed at least one of them very easily. The single most important thing to do as Trindamir is to dodge disruptive tanks. Here I know a teamfight will start, and I use Spinning Slash and Flash to jump over Alistair, heading straight for Vayne. Oracle's Elixir allows me to take her down despite her invisibility. As I chase Vladimir, I note the duration on my ultimate. Hemoplague would certainly have killed me, so I retreat to find another opening. I turn on to Blitzcrank and kill him quickly. For runes, I take attack speed marks, flat armor seals, attack speed glyphs, and armor penetration quintessences. This setup allows me great jungle control, and builds my fury bar rapidly with attack speed. My masteries are 2109, focusing on all the physical damage modifiers and offense, and taking increased neutral buff duration and utility. I take smite and flash for jungle speed and maneuverability in battle. I max bloodlust right away for healing and damage output. I take spinning slash at level 2 and leave it there, focusing on mocking shout to heavily debuff my opponents throughout the mid game. For items, I open with a vampiric scepter. I take Berserker's Greaves and Yomu's Ghostblade as my first major investments. From there, I head up to Infinity Edge for massive damage output. After that, I max out my Critical Strike Chance with Cloak and Dagger and an Elixir of Agility. My final items are Bloodthirster and Black Cleaver for endgame damage and sustenance.